In this video, we're going to show you how easy it is to clean a fish tank. So here I will be putting, putting some fish in this fish tank here. Now, you, I'm going to be floating the, floating the bag to climatize it, or, which means I am going to be getting the, 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 getting the fish used to the water here. In this bag, we have some zebra danios, golden mountain clouds, ram's horn snail, and mystery snail. They should get along fine with this goldfish here, but we just hope you won't eat them. So right now, I'm doing a water change and draining out all the water while while doing a gra gravel clean while gravel clean while cleaning the gravel with this tube. Tube. It sucks up. It, you put it into the gravel, and it sucks up all the bad stuff in the gravel. Never remove half the water because the fish won't have any to, where to swim around. I'm going to get the sponge and give the glass a good clean. Mm. Inside this filter is a sponge and what this sponge does is it grows bacteria to make the, to kill the waste from the, from the fish and what you've got to do it every now and then is you've got to take it, take it out and get some water from the fish tank and wash the water, wash the sponge in the water from the fish tank and then once you, once you think that, it, that, once you think that yeah, it's good back, little dots in here which is all the dirt and bacteria and waste got it, then and put it back in the filter and and then chuck the water away and put the filter back in the tank. Now we're getting water from the fish tank to test it. So we've tested the water and the ammonia, which is first degree fish waste, is zero. The nitrite, which is second degree fish waste, is near zero. The nitrate, which is third degree fish waste, is near zero as well. The pH is good. The GH is a little low, but that's okay. And the KH is good as well. Every time you, you replace your water, you're gonna wanna use water rager to, to get rid of the, all the chlorine from the tap water. And just put a little squirt in. Like that. And then you also and then you also wanna put a little bit of a pinch of KH. And then if you have goldfish, goldfish have like salt. Now that the fish have been climatizing for half an hour, we can let them go into the tank. To, to organize the tank and decorate it. Oh, and we'll put Mr. Buddha here, in here. Oh, well, would you look at that? This looks like my dad. <laughs> so, let's just, I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna drown, put him in here. Um, there, does that, oh. He's to the fart. <laughs> It's a good idea not to feed them for two days after buying them. 
Mm -hmm. I think. Will it take long to um, clear? How long does it take to clear now? That'll clear by tomorrow. Uh -huh. Thanks. It's always good to have the water pumping when you start the filter so that the fish have oxygen. the tank that very much as much as you usually would because is the fish might jump jump out and just and once you think that they've got used to the environment used to all the plants and and is happy in the tank then you can fill it up to the no, normal height <laughs> Days, you might really find a meal in the other little other east. Now that's how easy it is to clean a fish tank. That was very good, very, very good. <laughs>